Hello everyone, so today I have another throwback video for you. I know, they just keep coming. I, I know I have at least a few more that I can share with you and I'm, I'm really excited too. I realized that I have quite a few because I didn't post them for almost a year, but I was recording. <laughs> so it wasn't like intentional, like I've been doing, you know, intentionally sitting down to record videos. So there aren't like a crazy amount, but there's still a few more left to go. So this one, again, was done for the Growing Together pack, and I believe this was actually done almost a year ago. And I love this house. I built this one for a family that I was playing with. And I built it specifically for, you know, what I wanted them to be. And I, I've actually played in this house with two other families. <laughs> So, yeah, you could say you could say I liked it. Now, that being said, I have done some updates to this one. So, I'm going to upload what you see in the video. However, there is one that has a like greenhouse and more decking. I didn't do much to the outside in this build. I am going to go back and add a little bit more to the outside of this house before I upload it. But yeah, pretty much, you know, this is this is what I started with with a few extra little things because I do play with custom content. But when I record, I try not to use it. So actually, I don't use it as of right now. However, I may be doing some custom content builds soon. So look for those. All right, so with this house, you'll kind of see me playing with the floor plan a little bit and playing with where things go and how they go, but it pretty much stays very similar to this look. I do bump out the front a little bit. You probably noticed that in the thumbnail and it just needed more room. <laughs> That's all. It needed more room. So this is a four bedroom house with a large master suite, okay? I created this as a family home with a guest room. So there is a bedroom on the main floor and that I consider the guest room. For this, I wanted the adult couple's parents to be able to come visit and, you know, spend time with their grandkids since, you know, growing together had just come out. So we were all excited about that opportunity to have people come and stay over like that. So anyway, I definitely wanted to do a modern look with this. The Sims I had playing in this, one was a chef and the other one is a musician. So... I also, spoiler alert from my video on Friday, if you didn't watch it, created a studio in the basement for this one, and that is why I did a big studio build in the last one, and I believe I told you guys I had, you know, this one coming, so, so yeah, he is a musician, so I put a studio down there and I mean it's not a big one it's a small studio it's really just for you know him to play in since we can't do bands I really didn't you know design it for multiple uh, people however there are a few instruments so it's not like there's just one instrument and that's all you get so yeah I did put it the entrance to the basement in the office area and I did that on purpose because I wanted the option to put a door to the outside there if I wanted to. So you could access the office from the outside without having to go through the house type deal. 
I'm not sure why I thought about that because I hadn't even known like there were mods that would allow you to run like studios until like a week and a half ago. So I, I probably figured there were and I didn't use them because I didn't end up exploring that part of it. I was too busy trying to raise kids, okay? <laughs> so, so, but I did do that. That I know that was my thought process was then there'd be an outside entrance, but I never put an outside entrance in. So, yeah. All right. So, again, this is kind of a modern house, and I didn't go, like, ultra modern. It's still comfy, cozy, but... I do play around with this kitchen quite a bit and the overall kitchen like once it's done I really like it again I did not decorate it a whole lot and I thought about going back and decorating it more but I realized there's a lot of good like counter space that's just empty so if you have like the new home chef hustle or you have the for rent pack you could add the appliances onto these counters really easily. So I'm not going to go back and do that. I'm going to let you guys kind of put in what you would like to use there. Because it is, it's just, it's perfect, like a perfect setup for it. So I do go through, change the colors of the cabinetry a little bit. I put the white ones in just to kind of get a feel of do I like this or not. Sometimes I do that so that I'm not distracted by like the coloring because it, like if I use the black ones and the lighting's not quite right you can't really see it so I think at this point that's what I was doing I did that a lot during this year I took off where I was like I want to see what this is because you know this was for me and I wasn't going to be going back through a fine tooth comb you know checking these over or anything so I might continue to do that like or start doing that again because it can be helpful the only downside to it is you know trying to pick out wallpaper <laughs> but you can see I went no I'm gonna change this now I have wallpaper figured out I like the cabinet look and change that up so there are I don't think there are any upper cabinets in this kitchen they're all lower cabinets I put in a little bit of shelving but other than that, there's not much there. Now, I will say the shelving from the four rent pack would go really well above that counter by the garbage can. Just, you know, if you want any ideas for how to decorate this. <laughs> so you can see it did take me a little while to get this kitchen done. I I love it. I really wish that... We could get counters that would blend in better with the ah the bar height counters, I guess is what I wanna you know, or the bar counters. But we don't, and so half the time I end up doing what I've done here, and there's just like a weird little spot. Sometimes I'll put like columns in there and create this cool little thing and I don't know if I've done that in any of the builds that I have uploaded or done videos for in fact because you know these are builds I did a while ago I think I just avoided doing that in general I might have to do that again on a new one going back over these you know older builds I'm just like amazed at some of the things I did that I don't do anymore, but made some sense, I guess. So here you can see I'm playing with the sofa and I'm wanting to use this sectional and it's just not working with me. And I really want to use this sectional. And I'm just, I'm, I'm not happy with how it looks. So you will notice here in a little bit, I end up changing things up a little bit with this not too much but yeah that that's kind of it I really wanted to use this layout and I think I, I like it 
I have no idea what the game will replace that sofa with. So, yeah. So you can see here I ended up uh, moving, moving things around because I wanted to use that coffee table. Very badly, apparently. So, you know, I just extended out the front of the house. And this is, you know, a great way to build. I think so many people get stuck on, well, here it is. Here's my floor plan. I can't change it. Change it as you're building if you need to. You know, that's why I'm trying to do decorating room to room to an extent because, you know, like I had to go upstairs and figure out what I was going to do with that after extending this room. But it worked out. I love how it looks from the outside. So... I'm not going to complain. So you can see here again, kind of focusing on that modern type feel, but I also wanted to make it kind of comfortable and cozy. To be honest, I downloaded uh, Pillow CC and put pillows on those sofas. So they, they looked really nice and cozy. Well, I'll try to get a picture maybe up on my Instagram or something to show you guys what I did with that because yeah I think eventually I did do a CC sofa <laughs> but yeah no I play on a PC so I have that option I really wish console players had that option as well because there's so many cool CC things out there in fact I'm debating about doing another restaurant build because or maybe entertainment venue would be a better word for this because Carl's Dine Out Mod has come out with some new updated things that I was reading about earlier. And I'm very excited about that. So I may do that as a CC build um, just because you'd have to have his mod to make it work correctly. But yeah, let me know in the comments if that's something that will interest you and, you know, if it does, make sure to uh, subscribe so you'll get informed if I post that or not. Probably will. Just saying. <laughs> if you vote for it anyway. All right. So here I'm moving on into the office area. And again, I wanted this to be kind of just a nice personal office. Like I said, the sim I had here was a chef, but she also ended up uh, writing like you know books and cookbooks and things like that so I wanted to create an office for her to do that and I love this office I have it so you can look out the window which is something I currently miss with my setup right now I I'm, I'm facing away from the window and it makes me sad but it was just what worked when I moved in but hopefully it'll be changing here soon and I'll be able to rearrange some things so that'll be nice all right so just kind of figuring out decor the usual <laughs> and again keeping with a modern type theme to this I used multiple packs you guys already figured that out because like I said this was a build for me I wasn't building it for the channel and even then, you know, I, I use multiple packs all the time. I am going to try to do some more base game only builds. And once I get through a little bit of the list I have going for builds that I've already started, if I hadn't started them, I would skip over them, but they're already started. I may start doing some towny, like home refresh builds too. So. Look for those probably in a couple months. It probably won't be any time real soon. So here getting the main floor bathroom slash guest bathroom done. Um, I decided because it's a guest room, I wasn't going to just build a bathroom for it. And I forgot to build a spot for like a just a small you know powder room down there so yeah so I started that and then I, I don't know what I was thinking here all of a sudden I was just like I need windows and this and that 
I need to come out here and fix things. Um, all I can think of is looking at my video, uh, you know, thing here. I probably had to save it to go to work or something and then came back and just started working on the outside. <laughs> That, that has to be it, just because I think there's a, a break in the video feed right there. That would make the most sense for that, because I'm pretty sure I didn't edit anything right there. So, anyway, here I wanted to add this kind of like skylight area here. I just felt like that room needed more lighting. And you can see that door there. That is the side of the house that in one of my builds, I did put like a greenhouse in when that pack came out. Oh. So, you know, that's an idea. If you, you know, want to download this, you can add a cool little like screen and porch or greenhouse area there. I actually think it's technically a screen and porch. I didn't put like plants really or anything in there. It's a nice little seating area. Um... But that's an idea, and, and I may upload that version, as I said, to the gallery. I have a couple of my builds that have various options, I should say. And it's funny, I actually was on a Facebook group today, and somebody had said, you know, what's the best way to build and... One of the comments was somebody had said that they just start out with a small small home and build onto that. And I do that quite a bit. I mean, even with this one, I added, you know, a few things onto. In fact, I added a whole nother section to the basement because my kids grew up and I needed more space for them. Okay. <laughs> so you know, teenagers, they needed a game room and I didn't put one in here. And I didn't want to take out the guest room. So I do that too. So, you know, there's the building tip for this video. If you want to build, start small and just keep adding on to it. That is something that older homes are famous for, is they built small and as they needed to, they added on to it. So here you can kind of see I, I paused and I left that, that pause in there for a minute because I was... Still kind of debating how I wanted this floor plan to work here. And I like it. I put in these closets. If you don't have the packs that have those, I can't remember what they're out of. It'll just be a blank wall. I just wanted the rooms to be the same size. So I added that in there. And I have the ability to, you know, have those closets. So it made sense. All right, and then here I'm just creating the, you know, family bathroom, I guess. When I designed it, I was going with the modern look. And I kind of realized I didn't really design it for children. I think... I think I ended up adding some cool stickers and stuff to another build. I can't remember if I went back and put them in here. I might just copy that bathroom over into this build before I upload it. Yeah, I have like four copies of this house in different save files because I liked it so much. I don't know, it's just easy to play in, easy to get around and navigate and easy to add on to. And I think that's really what it was. was it was just so easy to add things onto it or change things up a little bit. I know in one of the builds, this kind of hallway area on the second floor, I pushed it out and covered the door a little bit to create like an artist space. Oh. So yeah, it was, it's just, it seems like it's easy to kind of manipulate to what you need it to be. And I like that. I think part of it is because it's such a simple, like, modern, clean design. There's nothing too crazy about, about the layout or the floor plan. It's very, you know, very modern lines. So it's easy to, to just play with. 
All right, so I kind of talked over these rooms. You can see I have one for a baby and one for a child. Well, I didn't decorate them a whole lot in here. I did go back through and decorated those up a little bit. I think my intention was to go back and decorate them at some point, and I just never recorded it or something or, you know, sat down to record it, so I didn't do it in this one because I ended up moving this to a different lot to play on. Because oh. I have, like, three save files that I do just building in, and then I save them to my library if I'm going to use them, and then plop them over into whatever, yeah, whatever file I'm playing in at the time. Uh -huh. So I find that easiest just because then I'm not necessarily deleting lots from you know save files that I might want to keep I just have them in like a build and then you know into the gallery in my library because sometimes I don't even upload all of my builds to the gallery right away I kind of you know I want to play test them things like that so I really need to create a playtest world. That's probably what I really should do. Because I try to playtest them in a different save file so that if they leave anything, you know, I'm, I'm not running through and trying to find some weird random dish that got left or whatever. So, but anyway, with this master bedroom, I did go through and add a few things when I was in here doing the photos, and you'll see that. So you'll kind of see some of the stuff I added already because I did it before I did the photos. Um, but it doesn't have, it didn't have a lot in it. I was kind of surprised. Um, and then these closets, I used the Dream Home Decorator uh, stuff in here. And I really like how they turned out. I've wanted these walk-in closets because, as I said, at the time I built this, the... The husband, Sim, was already pretty successful in his music career. So, I was just kind of using the music career and then pretending he was like a rock star. Okay. So, I kind of went with, he's successful, but he's not quite there yet. <laughs> so, that was this house. And then as I added on to it and moved it to a different lot, because I just loved it so much, I didn't want to leave it. And then I added on more, and yeah, that that's how that worked. Um, but they had walk-in closets and lots of closet stuff. That that was my my thoughts with that one. So here at the bathroom, I wanted this tub to kind of overlook whatever's in the background, and created my nice little you know separate room for the the toilet. And, you know, this is a luxurious type bathroom. I don't think I did a lot of de decorating in this one either. However, I did go back and add a couple of things. But, yeah, I, I kind of went in and went, what What was I doing? What was I doing? But like I said, all I can think of is I probably was like, oh, I'm going to hold off doing this because I have custom content I want to put in my build. And probably did not go back just cuz so here I'm working on the basement studio and I I put the stairs in the build but I didn't do the studio right away um, and I don't know why so I actually recorded this in the game that I was playing so this is, you know, not in the building world. This is in the game that I was using. And so I, I think I did it a little bit after. And I think my original thought was I wasn't going to upload this with the recording studio. However, I didn't even upload it at all. So <laughs> that tells you, you know, how weird I was then. But I did play around with this a little bit. It is a weird, like, basement. I did not make this, like, a square basement by any means. So if that bothers you, sorry, not sorry. Okay, it's just, this is how it was. <laughs> yeah. 
And originally I wanted to put like a storage space down here for like the seasons box. I like creating those little spaces, but I thought about it and went, you know, I don't want them to have to go through the recording studio to get to that. So what I actually did, and I'm going to double check this build. I don't think I did it here. I th or not this, the one we're looking at right now, but the one I actually recorded doing. In the master bedroom, I had put up above, because it's an open ceiling, I put the the seasons box up there and a couple of other little clutter things because you know, in my mind that's kind of like an attic area so I had a ladder going up there I'll look I don't think I did that in the build here that I'm planning on uploading but I might go ahead and do that it worked I liked it you just can't really close off that area. Like you can't put like a half wall or anything there. It doesn't let you, at least it, I don't think it did. I know I tried to kind of block it a little bit, but it said no, because the roof was in the way. So, so anyway, with the studio, I wanted a little bathroom area down here too. And you can see, I put like movie posters and just created a fun little, a little thing using some of the like, Oh, I just get famous, get famous, that one. All right, so here's the finished outside. And as I said, I didn't do a lot outside with this. I am gonna go through and do a little bit of landscaping. Uh, I might even steal from my other build and just throw the landscaping and everything in there somehow. But yeah, overall, I really love this build. It was so much fun to play in. And I'm gonna let you guys take a look at the interior photos. I do hope you guys enjoyed this build and are enjoying the throwback build in general. Like I said, I'm not sure how many I have left. I still have a few though. And a couple I am going to warn you guys ahead of time will not be on the gallery because I don't have them anymore. But willing to go back and rebuild them if that's something you want. I will state in the video if that's the case or not. And if I get enough comments, I will go back and rebuild them. All right. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye now.